Hey guys, Mark here at the Wildlife Center at Refreshing Mountain. Today we're going to be talking about one of my favorite lizards, the mangrove monitor lizard. Uh, monitor lizards are a pretty large family of lizards found throughout the world. The most of them are found in Australia and Southeast Asia. This one's from Indonesia and Southeast Asia. Um, the largest monitor lizard and the largest lizard in the world, of course, is the Komodo dragon. And this is a smaller cousin of the Komodo dragon. Mangrove monitors get to be about three to four feet long, so he's still got plenty of growing to do. Um, there's a subspecies of mangrove monitor called the blue tail monitor, which is amazing. It looks kind of just like this, except the bottom half of its tail is a beautiful blue coloration. So again, one of the things that we talk about at our wildlife center is the diversity found in nature, um, especially the color diversity. You know, people oftentimes think of a snake or a lizard as just a dull brown um, creature, but they don't realize the color diversity found in reptiles and amphibians is basically could be similar to what's found in the, in the coral reef. Um, there are just so many colors. People don't know that there's certain tree vipers that can be green and purple and red, all in the same snake. Same thing with lizards. Some of the tropical uh, tree lizards and things out there, the colors are just incredible. With monitor lizards, um, they are very intelligent lizards, especially in the zoo world. People do all kinds of different training with them uh, based on food responses and things like that. We don't really do much of that here since this is our only monitor that we have currently, but they are very intelligent. Um, when you're looking in their eyes, you can see they're, they're basically thinking about something, where to go, what's going on, a little more than maybe you would find in other reptiles. Um, these guys, you know, as far as monitors go, the, the largest ones in the world, outside of the Komodo dragon, of course, would be the Asian water monitor. The Parenti, which is also sometimes called a Goanna as well in Australia, and uh, you know the Crocodile Monitor in Southeast Asia is another one. All of those lizards can get to be over six or seven feet long. Huge lizards. Um, a bite from one could be pretty severe. You could get um, you know uh, effects with um, potential envenomations that are sometimes found in monitors. Um, it wouldn't be the same as a snake, uh, but it could do some blood damage to you. Um, potential for bacteria issues and just tearing apart really good because their jaws are designed to tear meat off of animals so um, you don't really want to get bit by a monitor lizard uh, one this size wouldn't do too much but we still want to make sure he's just enjoying climbing around these guys love climbing trees some of my favorite monitor lizards are the green tree monitors and the blue tree monitors also found in Papua New Guinea and Southeast Asia um, you know, again, just very colorful lizards that a lot of people do not know exist. So this is just one of the several tropical um, lizard species that you can find uh, at our wildlife center if you come out to do a tour. So we hope to see you guys out before too long and uh, enjoy this beautiful week.